At Pelham City Schools, college and career exploration begins as early as elementary school and continues through middle and high school. With engaging opportunities and real-world experiences, students gain knowledge and skills that are relevant whether they decide to join the workforce or pursue college after high school. Our career and technical education classes offer students a wide range of electives aligned to nationally recognized career clusters and multiple career pathways. Today, we'll highlight classes from three of the eight career clusters offered at Pelham High School. I'm Alex Garcia and I teach culinary arts and hospitality and tourism here at Pelham High School. So what I really strive for my students to know and do is for them to know how to cook, how to bake, and how to prepare meals for themselves. Apart from that, I want them to know how to have fun. When we're in the kitchen, a lot of times, yeah, we're kind of stressed about we want it to look good and we want it to taste good, but let's not forget that we can always have fun with these foods. You know, we've had professionals come into our kitchen in the past and a lot of them had said, I wish I had this. So the fact that professionals in the current industry walk into our kitchen and say, I want your kitchen, should already say a lot about what we have here at Pelham. And the thing is, we're prepared to teach our students every single aspect of the culinary industry. And I think that's something that not a lot of places can say. Hello, I'm Alexandra. I'm in the culinary arts program. I am a sophomore this year in the program. It's very nice here. I really like it. Um, it's a new experience for me. Um, this coming up year, I'm getting ready to compete. It's my first year competing. I've really learned a lot of things. I learned to be really organized and how to always prepare your things before cooking them. Also, a lot of knife skills that I think I would never learn if I wasn't here. When you take career tech, especially here at Pelham, we focus a lot on career readiness indicators. Now these indicators are like certificates that kind of prepare you and throw you into the industry a little bit and say, look, this is what I've done in high school and I'm prepared for what's coming, especially in the industry. We offer Serve Safe and we also offer Guest Service Professional. So these certificates are used in the real world and in the industry, apart from receiving life skills and apart from just learning, collaborative learning from working with all the other students. I feel like at first you think that you have to know the basics to get in the program but you really don't have to know anything because you learn everything here that you need to know. Like I, when I first came, I just loved cooking but I really didn't know anything about it. So coming in was everything was new for me. Uh, being in the culinary arts program, not only do you get experience and uh, you can get awards from it and get credit from it and compete and even get scholarships for college. So the skills that these students are learning, especially here in career tech, so it's hands-on. We're learning real-world industry standards. So we're cooking, we're cleaning, we're learning about hospitality and tourism. We understand and we comprehend where money comes from, where it goes to, how we handle people, and how it surrounds individuals, which is the most important part because we're in the industry to serve. My name is Justin Foster and I teach television production here at Pelham High School. I feel like career tech is hugely beneficial for anybody because it's going to develop the work ethic. It's going to teach you how to learn outside of a traditional method. Um, and when you're in that kind of classroom, you may find your thing and you're not always going to find that in a textbook. So being able to get out and do for a lot of kids is, is really powerful. Going into this class, I had no idea that I wanted to record football. But like when I first got out on the field, it just felt natural. I had a lot of fun with it. And yeah, it just helped me find my place in life. When I'm recording football and I'm on the sidelines with all the chaos going around with the, you know, the players and the coaches getting hyped up, it really makes me focus on what I need to record. And I just find that to, to be able to focus in chaos, it's really helpful in life. So I think that's one of the big things. My favorite thing about this broadcast class is probably just being able to show off my creativity. Going in, I knew I kind of liked it, but I know other people in this class that had no idea what they wanted to do. Like Cooper, he, when he joined this class, he picked up a camera and fell in love with it. Also, another benefit of taking this class is probably it, it keeps you closer to the school. It gets you closer in with the school and everybody because on some of our featured segments like Panther Pulse and Panther Playback and everything, you get to interview teachers, you get to interview students, and it just gets everybody closer as a family. And you get to know other people that you might have not talked to not being in this class. I have one student who graduated last year. She's at Alabama and she's working with Crimson Tide Productions. She's on their reporting team and their overall team. So she's finding success there. She was a sideline reporter here the last two years and did a ton of stuff for us. 
We've got quite a few that are looking uh, beyond this year for graduation and pursuing a, a career in the field. I, I try to implement internet and the fact that most of these kids are on YouTube, they're on Snapchat, they're on Twitch, and all of those things are just as relevant as you know the mediums of yesteryear, the, the local TV. So I've tried to change that model and encourage them that there's not just that one direction you can go, and those directions are gonna continue to change, but developing you know the foundational stuff being polished on camera, all those things are gonna carry on regardless of the medium they choose. And we really try to partner with different people in the community to, to do real world stuff that's gonna impact the community and give good content for the people of Pelham, but also give these kids an opportunity to create that content and really have a, a strong footing as they get out into the workforce. I'm Jaden Kidd, I teach uh, welding one and two. When my students leave, I want them to know uh, what they're doing when they get out there, not just be a pair of uh, boots on a new job site. So my students are going to be prepared when they leave here to do interview skills, soft skills, you know, being coachable, being reliable, being a uh, productive human. All the equipment that we use here is what they use out in the field. When they leave here, they are comfortable, they know how to set up their machine, they know how to do everything that they need to do out in the field here. My name is Isaac Cruz. I'm a senior at Pelham High School, and I'm in the electrical class here at Kraft. When I finish the course, I'll have my OSHA 10 and my NCCER Electrical Level 1 certification. I decided to take these electrical courses because I wanted to know what it's like and have experience. My favorite thing is the hands-on learning and the performance grades that we get. My name is Lorenzo. I'm a senior at Pelham High School, and I do interior exterior at the Craft Academy. When we go to job sites, everything we learn here is just useful over there too, so we already have a head start to do things over there. One good thing that I've gotten from these courses is that things that I don't know, that I haven't learned outside of here, I've learned them here, and you learn a lot with how to use power tools, how, how to build floors, how to walk, how to talk to each other, and how to work as a team. We've got guys that's in Florida working right now. I have a guy from my summer program that's in Ohio right now. You know, they're all over. They're doing this for full-time employment. They've been doing it since they graduated in May. And I call them once a month just to check on them and, and, and they're loving it. The opportunities are there. They just need people to, to fulfill them. If a student is questioning whether or not they should take these courses, you know, I would tell them, it just depends on which route you want to take. You can go the college route, you can go straight out into the field. There's only benefits of taking uh, career tech, you know. When I did it, my senior year of high school, I was confident in what I was going to do with my life. And I learned something that I could never forget, you know, that I'm going to teach my kids one day. So it just, it, there's nothing but benefits of it.